This is Ryan Elliott for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. We're down here in London with me, Ben Shalom. Ben, the big fish has been secured. Ben Whitaker, signed, sealed, delivered. Talk to me about the, the difficult process of getting this one over the line. Yeah, it's been a long road, but nothing that you wouldn't expect when, when you've got a... You look at like generational talents and we think Ben Whitaker is that. We've been looking at him for like two years, even before we got the Sky deal. We want to be a disruptor in the sport and he's like, I'd say he's like nothing we'd ever seen in terms of personality. He's not trying to be anyone else. And uh, yes, unbelievable, delighted because it has been hard. Every promoter, whether it's in the UK or whether it's in the US, was was wanting to sign him. And uh, yeah, it's, it's unbelievable to get it over the line. It's no secret that, like you said, every promoter in the world wanted him. He was weighing these offers up for a long time. It's also no secret that in the end it was a big financial package for Ben. But, you know, how much does this show Sky Sports' commitment to boxing that they're, they're willing to put these numbers up and boxer are willing to put these numbers up to get a fighter like this? Look, I think uh, a lot's being made of the financial package. I, I think that's not come from us and that's not come from Ben. I think maybe that's a... Uh, I don't know where that's come from, but obviously we're investing in the future. Sometimes we've got decisions to make, whether we're you know, short-term versus long-term, and I think we've been pretty clear. We want to look after the long-term health of the sport. We want to make sure there's superstars coming through. We've seen a lot of fighters retire uh, recently, you know, big big names in the sport, whether it's Kel Brook, Amir Khan, fighters coming towards the end of their career, Tyson Fury. Who are the guys that are going to carry the sport in the future? And boxing always needs those big stars and... We've invested heavily in, in Fraser Clark, Lauren, Lauren and Karis, Caroline Dubois, Adam Azim, Ben Whitaker. And we feel like we've now got the sort of final piece in the jigsaw to, to grow over the next few years. And uh, yeah, ben is, a, ben is a superstar in the making and um, we think he can do special, special things in the sport. It can be quite easy for an amateur when they're turning over to stick to home comforts and stick to what they know, their team and their setup. He's gone around the world, he's tried nearly every big trainer there is. He settled for Sugar Hill Stewart, he said it's gone for him specifically, he wants to add that knockout power to his game. A, a fantastic choice surely going forward to adapt his game with that knockout power. Yeah, I mean, he's been in a tough weight division in the amateurs. The light heavyweight division is really elite. It's a lot of big guys in there and he's dealt with them. And uh, I think, as you say, that knockout power is perhaps something when you go from the amateurs to the pros, you have to start incorporating that into your game. And he's looked around and he's a smart guy and he's seen what Sugar Hill maybe has done with Tyson Fury, but he also understands the whole history with the Kronk gym. And we know Sugar really well. And just to have him in the UK, with our with with Ben Whitaker and hopefully more fighters to come, I think it's a dream team. I think people are going to love it. They're going to love the spectacle. They're going to love the journey. But also, it's going to make Ben a better fighter. Ben's never been shy in, in giving his opinion on things and, and being comfortable in his own ability as well. As someone that I heard Adam Smith say, he will divide opinion going forward. He does have that big personality. But is that what you need to be a star? I think I think you just need to be yourself. And uh, whether he divides opinion or not, we know him. He's a genuine guy. He's doing things for the right reasons. He's come from nothing. He wants to look after his family. He wants to put the sport in places it's not been before. And uh, he's next generation. Like Some people won't understand it, but he, he's got lots of things that he's interested in. And uh, yeah, he might divide opinion, but I think one thing is for certain, people want to watch him fight. And uh, I think you can invest, with the Sky platform, you can build superstars. You know you can build superstars, but you've got to be confident when they get to that elite level that they can compete and they can deal with it. And that's why we looked at the Tokyo Olympics, such a successful team, and wanted to be part of it and wanted to make sure we had the best young stable in the country. And, and so did Sky, and Ben Whitaker is part of that. And yeah, I think, uh, I think people will want to watch him fight, and that's the main thing. Any news on the, when the pro debut will be? Yeah, it'll be early July. Um, we've got a few shows that we're announcing that have been delayed, end of June, early July. And uh, yeah, from there on in, he'll be fighting five, six times a year. He's going to be extremely active. He's got a lot to sort of adjust to in the pro game. He's got a lot to learn with Sugar. He's not trained with him before. And um, yeah, it's going to be a special journey. Just a few things away from this before I let you go. Uh, one fight I wanted an update on, Marshall Shields. Uh, we saw Clarissa out in the media saying she's not really sure where, where that's at at the minute. I think I saw that Marshall's recovering from an injury of sorts. Where are we with that fight, though? I think it's just finding it. The terms are agreed. They're ready to fight. First of all, Taylor Serrano is a massive, massive moment for the women's boxing. I thought the promotion was incredible. I really enjoyed it. Um, and we've invested again in, in women's sport, Lauren Price, Karis, Caroline, Ebony Jones, Georgia O'Connor, and Savannah and Clarissa, and Tasha Jonas as well. But Savannah and Clarissa, that's a massive fight. It will, it will 
all were waiting on us to get a date that both of the parties agree on. Savannah had a few things to work out on her end. Um, but again, looking at Taylor Serrano, we now know UK versus the US with, with Shields and Marshall. There's a long history. We think we, that can go to a, another new high and uh, really excited to get that going. It won't be long. It's just a matter of time and it's just uh, yeah, just the final pieces in the jigsaw coming together and um, that fight is certain to happen next. Chris Eubank Jr. and Kelbrook were in talks to fight each other. Kelbrook's came out and announced his retirement. He's sailing off into the sunset. Just a, a word on the career and achievements of Kelbrook. He's decided to bow out. Yeah, Kel uh, was a pleasure to know him. Anyone in our generation, Kelbrook was the man. Like, uh, oh, such a such a good guy, such an amazing talent. Was probably one of the best, um, the best of his generation. Made a few bad decisions, not him, but just maybe from a boxing perspective. And to be given that send off that he wanted, that 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 Ami Khan send off. It was a good decision for him now to retire. He's done everything in the sport. I'm happy and I'm sad. I'm happy because I know it's the right decision. I'm sad because he was one of my favourite fighters and uh, I, I'll miss seeing him in the ring. But just really happy that he'll be happy now and at peace to retire and uh, wish him all the best. Last one, one of your young charges, Adam Azim. I saw an article going around about him potentially fighting Ryland Charlton. Any update on that? Yeah, he, he, he wants to step up quickly, so does Shane. He'll be fighting at the end of June. We've got a regional series to announce at the end of the June. Then we've got perhaps Fury Hunter in, in early July, and Adam will be out. Yeah, Ryland Charlton is, is the name that he wants. Um, he doesn't want to mess around. He's another future superstar. I think we need them. And uh, Adam and Ben, yeah, end of June, early July, and then we'll kick on from there. Final, final thing I've just picked up on, uh, Fury Hunter, is that now a done deal? Terms have been agreed, um, so it's just about the date, early July it looks like, and uh, that's an unbelievable fight, it's a 50-50 fight um, on paper, and, and Fury is, is ready for that, he's been waiting for that, he was meant to fight Hellenius, that was what was ordered, and Hellenius didn't take it in the end, and Michael Fun Hunter is one of those fighters that we all know how good he is, and he's never reached, really reached the heights that we thought he could, and so... Yeah, looking forward to that one early July. Massive moment for Huey. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's the start for Huey. It's like a, he, he's fought such elite guys. Are we in a rush? <laughs> he's fought such elite guys in his early stage in his career. And now he's probably feeling like he's coming into his prime. And that's a, that's a big fight for him. And then hopefully he, he, he goes on to bigger and better things. All right, Ben, a lot of media to do today. Thank you very much for your time as always. And congratulations.